today we'll discuss this keyword and super keyword okay today topic is this and super first i will go to uh, this keyword so basically this keyword is used to denote current object what are the use cases so here we can differentiate differentiate local variables uh, and i think so we already uh, so you already wait, wait, talked wait, about wait. Wait, wait. Okay. and instance variables if and only if local variables and instance variables having same name we'll discuss that one and one more we can call one constructor inside another constructor in the same class by using this keyword and one more we can call one method inside another method by using this by using this just i will give overview okay so first one differentiate local variables and instance variables using this keyword okay. just uh, i will explain this use case where we can use actually this one just i will design one class customer now inside the customer class i will define the variables like int customer number and string customer name these two are local variables or instance variables instance variables so instance variables are defined inside the class and outside the method now i will design one constructor public so con class name now here cno string c name now these two are these two are local variables so generally local variables are defined inside the method or inside the constructor local variable scope is within the method only now line number five and six called as instance variables line number eight is local variable here in this case local variables and instance variables having same name we will differentiate local variables and instance variables by using this keyword so this dot cno represents instance variable cno that's it so if local variables and instance variables having same name we can differentiate local variables and instance variables by using this keyword this is the first use case now design main method C is equal to new customer so 10 C no that's it so now here your class object get created by using new operator along with the parameter I constructor and then call the disp method that's it now run it So this is 
if local variables and instance variables having same name how to differentiate both local variables and instance variables now second use case Calling one constructor inside another constructor. This is second use case. How to call one constructor inside another constructor? So how to call anyone? Any idea? Any idea? Huh? Using super keyword. Super keyword. No, no, no. Within the class only. So this is used to. Huh? All uh, default constructor from um, parameterized constructor. Parameterized yes. Yeah, similarly, this with value one comma value two is used to call. Uh, please mute parameterized constructor. Um, default constructor that's it we'll see one sample example already we'll discuss we'll see one sample example now this is a parameter I constructor now I will design one hmm. I will design one default constructor this is the default constructor default constructor that's it. Now, from here itself, just I will call default constructor. How to call default constructor? By using this without arguments. So, constructor calling should be in the first statement. That's it. Now, execute. That's it. So, here you are calling default constructor from parameterized constructor. This is a sample example how to call. Uh, default constructor from parameterized you can also call parameter constructor from default constructor now last one calling one method inside another method that's it any idea any idea so generally this dot method name like this you can call so here is used to call one method inside another method that's it. Okay. Observe here. Now, just observe public wide M1. So, how to call disp method inside the M1? Anyone, any idea? Anyone, any idea? How to call disp method inside M1 method? Huh? Anyone? This dot method name. This dot is yeah, this dot Or you can call directly like this also. This is this. fine. But whenever we call like this, within the same class, we can call one method inside the another method. But internally, this line is converted into like this. Okay, both are same. Even though you can call like this within the same class, internally that is converted into like this. Okay. Anything is fine. So now go to here. Just I will call M1 method. 
m1 get call will call disp method internally this is how to call one method inside another method by using this keyword even they will forget to mention this keyword before the method while calling one method inside another method just compiler will add uh, this keyword before that method this is overall about this keyword now i will go to super keyword so four most important this keyword super keyword and final keyword very very important i have a small question for the default uh, constructor for the this keyword we are not writing any statement like this dot constructor name or anything right no not only required. for the method why sorry why it is not required like for the super keyword we are right oh sorry for the other method we are writing this dot that method name right but uh -huh. um, wait, wait if we use Const wait wait how to call constructor either anyway i don't think so we can't call the constructor right if uh -huh. constructor not at all called by the developer then this dot which constructor you want to call that's why always always in order to call the constructor we will use con this without arguments to call the default constructor this with arguments with the parameter constructor at least we need to write this keyword or something like that right no that's why i'm telling right how to call the constructor as a developer no need to call the constructor right if no need to call the constructor we can't we can't call the constructor suppose you can't call the constructor then how to call it please mute sir please suppose mute. Uh, we, we 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 have default constructors twice what will happen how to call Sorry. suppose we have a default construct constructors uh, more than one how to call that one okay my so any id uh, you have knowledge on that one one program contain more than one default constructor no huh no possible or not possible not possible if you write simply it will throw error observe here public customer now observe this is default constructor again i will write one more now observe error gone pass duplicate constructors are there please, please observe so clear uh, can you also show me uh, a constructor which is parameters like parameters same thing right same thing here uh, in template no. number okay here also suppose you can write in template number not uh, so, not the suppose here without mm -hmm. here now arguments are different right possible i don't need the two constructors only keep it one const constructor and can you show me the example for that uh, in the constructor we are not using anywhere either it is parameterized or default we are not key using what is this what is this you want okay, okay. Please. constructor yeah seven sorry Be i didn't careful. see that yeah okay yeah this is the parameter constructor basically parameter constructor purpose is to initialize your class instance variable just i posted the notes in your group please check as it is i posted the program as well okay yeah what scenario we should go for uh, super and what scenario we should go for this sir? that's why right that's why i'm going to deal next one okay sir. so here always please observe here use case So this keyword is used to represent current class. Which class? Current class. Current have two class. classes to represent current class. We will use this keyword. Suppose you want to represent super class. Huh. Is used to represent base class. Super super class okay. or base class or Parent class. Parent class. That's it. This is the real time scenarios. Okay. Okay, sir. 
So yeah, please, please go through that notes. Once we are good, then I will start so far. Where we can use in the real time, I will discuss. Super means we should identify the which one is parent class, which one is uh, child class. No, 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 no. That is the different. Always it represents super class data only. To refer super class data, we will use super keyword. To refer current class data, we will use this keyword. Sir, uh, this and uh, super how to concept? Sorry? Uh, concept is uh, oops, yeah, uh, different. Who told? Oops, different and you, this one uh, super different, right? Your name? Uh, um, my name is Mangesh. No, this is part of this one super is part of uh, Oops only. I will show you. Can I show that one practical? Uh, my, my, my question is this and the super uh, concept is uh, Oops uh, concept is uh, different. No, no, no. This and so far is part of Oops only. Uh, abstract, abstract class, na? No, yar. Please, I request all of you. Oops are four principles: encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism. In these four, this super final are also part of that Oops principles only. Not separate. This and so far is not at all principle. These are the internal things which we are used as part of the Oops. Clear? Okay, sir. Yeah. Now, please observe. Uh, here also, suppose, please observe here. I have one question. First, I will provide one method. Now, observe. Quite good, Sorry. So, so in employee number okay, and my method name is public wide m1 a m1 right any questions up to this any questions Any questions? No, no, sir. No, sir. All right. Now I will design. Please mute. B class. Here. String E name equal to. See no. One minute. Huh? Now here. Just I will print uh, E and O. Now here public byte M2 E name. Any questions up to this? These two classes are independent or dependent? Huh? Uh, not dependent. Independent, sir. Depend or independent? Independent. Independent. Okay, now I want to provide relationships. Huh. So here now I will use extents. Please mute. Yeah. Now what will happen? In this case, how many methods are there? B class contains. One or two? Two. Two methods. So far. A class contain? One method. One. Okay, so far. So far. Now observe. Go to here. B, B is equal to new B. So now, can I call both methods B1 and B2? B1 is available as part of B2. Sorry, M1 is available as part of B class. 
first goes to B class. M1 is available or not? Not available. Is there a class extended by B? Yes, go to that class and execute M1. Up to this, any questions? Huh? No questions, sir. No questions, right? Now my question, please mute. Please, I request all of you. Please, please. So first use case, everyone know, right? So here, use case one. Case one. Super. Huh. What the meaning? Super without arguments is used to huh, call base class constructor. constructor base class which constructor default, default, default constructor. constructor constructor from subclass yes or no i want so this is well known right similarly i want to call base class parameter i constructor like this right Parameter I constructor from subclass. So any any requ anything required for you? If you want, I will show you. Now here, is there any constructor available here? Is there any constructor? No, right? Now compile will provide default constructor. So here, B class default constructor. Now. Now, oh, A class contain any constructor? No. Then compile will provide default constructor. So now you are creating object to which class? B class or A class? You are creating an object A which class? B class. B, B class by using new operator along with the default constructor, right? Now by default, uh, it will access. So here, inheritance relationship is there by default b subclass constructor will expect para default constructor of base class yes or no already we'll discuss this one right remember hello tell me one sir i can't understand so already discuss child class yeah. Child class default constructor will call base class default constructor by default. Right? Last session we discussed this one. So I am not touch this example again. Now. Case two. Observe here. Now, a, what is the variable name? A class variable name. Hmm? What is the A class variable name? E number. E number. E N O. What is the B class variable name? E name. Okay. So whenever I suppose I print here. E and O. What is the output? Hmm? What is the output? Default. Default. E and O is not there, right? Then what is the output? Please mute. What is the output? Anyone? ENO is defined in B class. Huh? ENO is defined no, in B class. B class. No. The from but still compiler also not at all thrown any error. Please mute. Please mute. Uh, then what is the output? Error not thrown. So somewhere ENO is defined. 
啊。Somewhere. So where we got this variable from? Where? Any idea? B is extend from which class? From A class, sir. We can get A class. So A class. yeah, from A class itself, we'll get it right now. Observe. Now yes. E and O value is hundred. Observe here. Hundred, we get it. Okay. Now what the A class? A class variable. E and O equal to hundred. Now observe. B class also. Ah. Now what the output? What the output? Two hundred. Huh? One two three no two hundred. But I want to whenever I will call M two method. Whenever I will call M two method. So one minute. Huh? Ah. Huh. Whenever I will call one M uh, two method. What the output? What the output? Hmm? The output is M two three no two hundred. Two hundred. Now here E N O equal to hundred or E N O equal to two hundred. We got it. Hundred. Hundred or two hundred. Two hundred we will get. Two hundred. Why? Because first priority is given to local. <laughs> if your B class contain already E N O equal to two hundred, right? We got it. If this word E N O is not there, then only it will goes to A class and got the A class E N O variable. Clear? Yes, sir. Sir, how to get from the A class? Uh, we can use this yes, keyword. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Now your question is, Hey, Suman, I want to get. So, okay, this is good. Current class. If current class and super class having same variable, my requirement is. Suppose current class and super class contain same variable. Whenever we will create an object to B class, generally B class data we got it. But my requirement is I want to get huh, A class E N O variable as well, right? Sir, no. So to get it, please observe here. Ah, huh, how to get this? Sorry. Super dot. What is the variable name? What is the variable name? What is the variable name? Yeah, no. E N O like this you can call. So for that E N O. Ah. Yes sir, yes sir. So clear. Now observe. Print it. Coming or not coming? Hmm. Sorry. Sir, but uh, we want in a second method, M2 method. Then how? Sorry. Uh, we want hundred in a second method, sir. Yes, sir. We get. Where? Which method? Can I define one more method here? B M2. B M2 method, sir. B class method. This, this is B only, right? Yes. B class M2 method only. I got it right. Hmm. Clear? Clear or not clear? Clear. Hello. Clear, sir. Again, I will. The method you call in here, uh, super dot e n o, sir. And uh, yeah, super the dot result dot is what, sir? Super dot e n o. M two method. You are M2 calling M two method only, right? Okay, yes, sir. M two so method means we should get it. Three two hundred only, na? Yes, yes. After again, I will tell you. Here, local where B class contain variable E N O, and A class also contain same variable. A class contain E N O equal to hundred. B class E N O equal to two hundred. Whenever I will print E N O directly like this, line number eleven. First, it will verify. Is there any variable defined in the local? If yes, get the value two hundred. Display it. Whenever that's why observe here highlighted one. No, no. I want to get super class variable name. Then we can use super dot e n o. So clear? Hmm. Suppose 
super class and sub class having same variables and we want to get super class variables in sub class sub class then use uh, super dot variable name that's it clear hmm are you able to understand not understand anyways we should call it super super mother sir sorry yes we should call the super mother your voice super is breaking how many ways we are going to call the super super keyword that this is the three ways by using by call, super class constructor we can call we can call super class variable we can call super class method sir how to okay. use uh, extend uh, yeah. sorry a, ext, extend is not uh, understanding sir Which one? class b class b is uh, extend no no extend keyword you is, you, is not on the you attend inheritance inheritance huh? is uh, no, not present sir i am no there i will discuss you go through my notes there we can there okay next scenario okay. Okay. suppose super class and sub class having same methods same method names and generally and want to refer super class method in subclass then use uh, super dot method name right super dot method name so now observe Suppose I will remove so B class continue which method? Hmm? B class contain which method? Hello? A class A class contain which method? A class contain which method? Please mute. M2 method. Please mute. First of all, mute. Otherwise, I will remove from the group. Yeah. So here, whenever I will call M2 method, which M2 get called? M from M1 from A or B? B. Local. B class only, right? B local is high priority. Now I want to call. Uh, suppose super class and subclass having same name. I want to refer super class method in the subclass. Then we will use super dot method name. That's it. Like this, you can call. Okay. Now you can call. Run it again. We should not use a super dot mem2 method. We should not get it. Necessary. Sorry. Not get the super class dot method. It will not get the. That I am to know, sir. That's why I'm telling how to get it here. The M2 is common. A class contain M2 method, B class contain also M2 method common. Then whenever I will create an object to B class, huh, which M2 method considered from A or B? A and B contain same methods. Then which okay. method can which method can so which class object you are creating? B class. B so first priority went B class M2 method. If B class does not contain M2, then only yes. it will refer A class. Okay. Yes, sir. But my requirement is I want to refer A class M2 method as well. Then simply how to refer it? So for that, for that M2 method, always it will goes to uh, pair base class M2 method. That's it. A class. Yeah. 
that's it any confuse no sir no sir sample is sir is not yeah go ahead and ask sir this this keyword and super keyword we can use it in a interface 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 generally from java interface means interface contain any complete methods no then how to use it how to refer super class interface method in the subclass from java 8 we have an alternative is there default method and static methods are there there we will refer by using super keyword i will explain that one okay